friend Phil Breely called me up the other day and said he wanted to share one of the most amazing life experiences he's ever had. Now, we both love scuba diving. There's nothing like a day on a boat and down in the water exploring the ocean and its wonders. There's one dive that Phil had in the Grand Bahamas with Caribbean divers in the spring of 2010 was something special. You see, he had lunch with the sharks. Now, we think sharks are amazing animals. They're officially fish, and they've been top of the food chain for some 420 million years. And as Phil's getting in the water for the dive, he's also thinking about the fact that there are some 440 species of sharks. And today, he's going to have lunch with some Caribbean reef sharks, which are all over these waters. It doesn't take long once he's down there for the lunch menu to coax the sharks to the table. While he's playing with a curious grouper, the sharks start to arrive. It is lunchtime, after all. Oh no, aren't they magnificent? We still get a thrill every time we see this footage. The Caribbean reef shark is not an aggressive species and is not considered dangerous to humans unless provoked. It has, however, been known to take a curious bite out of unsuspecting divers, so caution is always critical. The underwater explorer's guide is quickly swarmed by sharks. They know she's about to serve lunch. Well, these guys are pretty excited. They know there's free food to be had, and that's why the staff are wearing chainmail suits, just in case. Now, let's make no mistake, this all looks scripted, but these are wild animals, and Phil and friends are in their domain. Anything could happen. Now, these Caribbean reef sharks live on the abundant coral reefs around the Bahamas and all over the Caribbean. They feed mostly on fish, using their keen sense of smell and motion detection, although they do have some pretty good eyesight. And like humans, they give birth to live young, although after a 12-month pregnancy. Now, trust me, I don't want to be around a female shark after 11 months of pregnancy. Would you? Oh, wait, look, do you see? One of them is acting like a puppy dog. And the guy is actually playing with it, and it's responding. It's, it's, it's docile. Look, she's rubbing its nose. It loves it. Well, the others are getting a little aggressive, but it's hard to tell whether they're hungry or jealous. Oh, boy, food comes out soon. I think these guys are getting excited. sharks just don't get enough love. Maybe that's what they want. In, in addition to the food is a little love. Look, they've blown kisses. Kisses to a shark on the bottom of the ocean. Oh, well, you know, the world could use a little more love and I'm sure sharks have felt very unloved for a long time. I mean, when you've been on top of the food chain for this many years, you don't make a lot of friends. So I asked Phil, what's it like when you touch a shark? And what he told me is, it's actually like a sandpaper. It's a very rough skin. It's, it looks smooth and, uh, and glistening when you look at it in, in the video. But when you actually touch the skin, it's very, very rough. Well, I think we're going to give it a go. Pet the shark. But, oh, not quite sure about this. Oh, yeah, it's just like petting a dog. Except the shark's got much bigger teeth. And the feeding's still going on. Ooh, whoa, two bites. I think he took off the little finger on that one. 
He stuck around to say, sorry, boss. I'm a little aggressive there. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if I would... Is that... What's your day job like? Well, you know, I go down and I feed sharks in swarms under the water. Kind of hard to come home and meet the parents with that one, isn't it? Oh, looks like it's time to get out of here. Two thumbs up means hit the surface. And you want to do it gracefully because... Well, you don't want to look like a big, black, juicy seal, so... Easy does it. No thrashing about, folks. Let's all get out in one piece. Literally. I had a chance to chat with Phil when he got back to his home in Don Mills in Toronto, Canada, about this amazing footage and this incredible experience he must have had. It looks pretty amazing down there. What was it like? It's absolutely incredible. It's one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had. Most people, when they think of sharks, they think in terms of great white jaws and that sort of thing, and uh, it's totally not correct. They're not like that. Well, these, these sharks, I mean, they're pretty big. Well, they're Bahama reef sharks, and uh, they're not one of the more aggressive species. And, uh, you know, the problem is with, with sharks, everybody, uh, you know, associates them with uh, great white and tiger sharks and that sort of thing. And they, they assume that they're all the same, and they're not. And, you know, you're never going to get an experience like this again if you, if you do it. Well, Phil, thanks for sharing your, your uh, clips with us. You're welcome.